Mississippi blues, the Mississippi movement be true blue too. Why, oh you, the blues so sweet it won't ever leave. So smooth, so deep, the love so full beat. The Mississippi dream gets set free, always laying on two feet. Music blended, you need so sweet blues represented. The blues. We're delighted you're here, and on behalf of everybody at Mississippi Public Broadcasting, welcome. We think you're going to be touched and inspired by this wonderful documentary. Thank you, thank you. First of all, look at this crowd. Is that beautiful? Thank you all so much for being here. What an exciting night for me and for my husband, John. It's been a six-year journey. When we started out, the intention was to come down and I was gonna shine the spotlight on Mississippians and be the invisible thread in the background. But as we submitted it to juries, they said this is too informational. You don't have an emotional connection. You need to follow someone. And I went, <laughs> there was only me. So I have been a reluctant vehicle for this film, but it has been a fantastic journey. I have been changed because of it. You are part of the reason for that because I've made so many new friends and I've certainly reconnected with old friends. So ladies and gentlemen, enjoy Mississippi Remix. So, so deep, fill up, so full deep, the Mississippi dream gets set free, always laying on. My question is, you interviewed a lot of people. What gave you the courage? How did you approach them? And everybody seemed to be receptive and opened up to you. Black, white, it didn't matter. And they seemed to be really open and honest. And how did you get that rapport so quickly with all those different people? Uh, I grew up in Canada, uh, came here 60 year, 50 years ago, and I know where those kids were coming from. I'm curious, how are you going to get the message back to those, the kids in your, your school in, in Vancouver so that they can see the result that they, they inspired. There are several moments in the film that are moving, the very touching for us as viewers. I want to know, is there any one moment that was particularly striking for you? Brenda Travis is here with her bronze star on her lapel, Brenda. David, uh, David Bickham of Macomb was so moved uh, by the documentary and by our paying tribute to Brenda that he uh, went to um, Amtrak and Brenda came out from California to Mississippi courtesy of Amtrak. Yeah. And this is Benny D. Harrell, my stepfather right here. He was Chief uh, Malcolm McMillan's boss at one time. Well, Myra, on behalf of the people of Mississippi, I've been asked to present you this for an absolutely superb piece of work to shine the light in so many different angles on such a worthwhile subject mm -hmm. to tell the, the dark side but the good side. Thank you. Thank you so much. Six zero one, you know what I mean, Mississippi. In my cook a letter, cook a letter, I cook a letter, cook a letter, I hump back, hump back, I. In my cook a letter, cook a letter, I cook a letter, cook a letter, I hump back, hump back, I. A living legend, yeah. Make things happen, old Mississippi educated. No barriers, be free. No longer barricaded. Mississippi blues represented, baby. The blues so sweet. It wow, I just love your part in so it. Thank you so much. So deep in the heart, so full beat. The Mississippi dream gets set free. Always laid on two feet. Music blended. 